Hello and welcome back. Starting off this episode by relocating a flower pot over here. Reason for that it was too cold to grow it here and essentially preventing this from being a great hall. So by putting it over here, I'll be able to make that a great hall and get a little bit more morale bonus than I was. Also, might as well open that door. All right, let's get started with, uh, with this. So... I'm getting my dupes to that's not the rocket. I'm getting my dupes to load some material inside this. So I want to send this rocket back pretty soon. But there's no point in doing that unless I have all kinds of useful material. So I've got cobalt or I've got gold amalgam clay and buddy buddy seeds. And I'll want uh, thimble reed seeds in time. So it just gives my dupes a little bit more time to load that up. Scientist has gotta look in the enclosed telescope and tell me what is around here. Because I need to find that oily asteroid. Hoping it's going to be one of these two, but we'll know shortly enough. Soon enough. Back in the home world, the dupes are looking for something to do. I actually have a plan that involves taking out this tree here and growing one here in a planter box. Or a hydroponic uh, farm, rather. Uh, using polluted dirt or polluted water growing that a little bit faster i'll be able to have more pips in this room actually i'm starting to run out of pips there so i'm going to start wrangling some more but this will allow me to i hope get an acorn because i think what's happening if wherever i have a tree and it's harvest ready my pips just are not finding anything. I'm thinking because they're just so eager to eat them instead that uh, I don't get a chance of an acorn. Either that or I've just extremely been extremely lucky. Unlucky in this process. But I feel like i got to change something up. So I'm going to have ranching station, critter drop-off station. If... You guys will let me. Let's make that tiles. It's going to be critter drop off. And then I'm going to have the hydroponic farm connected with polluted water. Already have a line for that here. So that's perfect. But we just connect it from the bottom like that. And not only do I want to load rock uh, materials here, but I want to leave some materials behind. Probably the most significant of that is sand, as well as uh, glass for future solar panels. But definitely sand, because there's still a lot of polluted water. That's going to produce polluted oxygen, and I need deodorizers for that. Thimble reed seed has been growing up, so that makes read fibers actually I, uh, I don't think I told my rocket or my the bins inside my rocket rather to have that that's an industrial ingredient yeah lead fiber put that inside the rocket as well please dupes okay pips are you ready for this I'm gonna remove your tree that means there's not gonna be enough food from you there's only four of you now, so one of you will have to uh, go with a little bit of food because each tree, each wild tree, only feeds three pips. And so this chef is going to take that tree out. I will now plant it down here. There we go. Polluted water is going to go in there. Let's check the size of this. I want to get 96. Need a little bit more. Get to that point. And we'll start dropping off some pips at this location. So just growing a tree by itself is never going to uh, produce pip at an absolute minimum. I will need have pips in there to search for acorns. I'm going to put three pips in there. So technically, one tree can actually fill feed all the pips in a room soon. You've got eight. 
Hopefully we'll some of those pips have them brought down here. So I'm going to put have three brought in and just see how this goes in terms of finding some acorns because I want more trees, please. The only way to get more trees is get more acorns. Hopefully this plan works. Just watching Ran Rancher wrangle all these pips. They're going to be relocated. Kind of convenient. These pips don't leave this one location. Once they're wrangled, they kind of drop up here. That's just because this door, they're confined. Yet, how many pips are there? I thought there was just a few. I don't need to wrangle that many, I don't think. Thanks, Rancher, though. Now, I'm thinking of pumping. I want to get rid of this polluted water, or at least dump it down here and I'm a little bit nervous about doing this mm. first of all is it going to actually make it to kill any of those plants drop down here but I, I may not necessarily want to warm this area what I might do instead I'm, yeah let's pump it out instead so I should probably put a, a deodorizer in here now that I've got this exposed. It's going to be need to be uh, wired along with the pump. Now I'm going to be able to get some polluted water from this spot. And I just have to decide what to do with it. So I've got my polluted water consumers down here. Just get the pipe down to that area. What is this? That's an old water line. That can go. And I want to use this in priority. To just get it to uh, just destroy that here. Get a liquid bridge that goes up. Since so Pluto water line is going to go into the tree, and this will go over here and not start to actually use the Pluto water from here until all the stuff in the top is used first. Okay, so that. That should be good. It's going to change this old door out for the mechanized airlock. So I'm just tearing that down. I'm going to put that back in. It already has the wire line on it. I'm going to put that in high priority. So right now we're just going to be wasting oxygen out into space. Just draining the liquid reservoir here. This is water that no longer has food poisoning. Putting that back into the system. So I built this little bin here. Got this. I want to keep the uh, cage after all, but um, I want to specify the number of eggs that I want to store here. So this will be like, let's say, stone hatch, sage, and regular hatch. And I want to have, let's say. 14, maybe even less, let's say 12. This is just to repopulate these rooms here. So I want to keep them out of the spot here that where eggs are going to be. I have to be careful. Can this dupe access this bin? I don't believe so. I think we're good if it's, it's located right there. If I had the bin here, I think, or like if I had had, it, had the bin up there, it might be create an infinite loop of eggs going around. But anyway, that's not the case. Let's just see if one of the dupes will put the eggs there, because I wouldn't want to keep the eggs at that location. Inside the bin itself, I want to actually throw it just in front of the bin. That way they continue to hatch, because right now, I believe they're going to have a growth su suppressed. Don't want that. Let's get them out of the bin. 
I already have some pips out here, so we're good with pips. If I ever need to replace any of my staples with pips, I'm already floating around for the time being anyway. And that's just going to make it so that those eggs will hatch, and when they do, I can put them uh, up in here. Just realized I missed the exit pipe of this filter. That's why scientist was not looking in the stars. So now that it's going to put everything but oxygen out here, now scientists can look to see if there's any oily asteroids maybe here or here. It'd be really nice if there was. Possibly it's over here, but not, if that's the case, I'll have to go to this asteroid first. Did not take long to run out of phosphate. Uh, phosphate. I am no longer able to produce fertilizer then. And that means these are going to be growing at half the speed. But I do have some phosphorite in this world here, so when these dupes get back, that will pick up again. And now I'm only needing to feed, for the time being, five dupes that are over here anyways. Colony achievement has been earned. Let's take a look. Turn of the century. Simply getting to that. Oh no, a bunch of them. I don't know which one that particular one was. A soft launch. I get that one when I landed here, I guess. Alright, so a little bit more progress on achievements. What I'm doing right now is installing some drywalling because I want to put an electrolyzer in because I'm out of algae. I could dig out some more, but I want to kind of save that more for space missions anyways. So let's put in that. Let's connect that with water. Oh, that is not the right one. Try that again, Jer. It's the electrolyzer. I'm going to put in a mesh tile here just that the oxygen can kind of leak out a little bit better once this is a built. So that's going to have the input of water. And of course, we're going to need that connected to some power. One of the hatch... Oh, no, two of the hatch eggs that I pulled out have uh, hatched. I just wrangled a pip. Didn't I cancel that? I just wanted the hatches to go up, so that's going to provide a little bit more meat now. Back in this world, just adding a little bit more of uh, drywalling, because now that I have an electrolyzer, that's going to my, be my oxygen source. I want hydrogen to, to go up, and I don't want it to accumulate here, or my dupes will be going to uh, be in the area. So let's create all kinds of drywalling at this location. And I'll close it off so that hydrogen can float up to this spot. There we are, scientists finally looking up the stars to see if there's anything of value around this asteroid. Back on the home world, just looking at the beta hives, I don't want those temperatures to get down uh, or up below freezing because the beta hives won't survive past that. Uh, real concern right here is a lot of heat from this is seeping in here and that is ultimately actually it's already uh, yeah we we need to move very quickly dupes to resolve this. I want to get a ladder built here. That gas mask currently disabled that's fine since I don't have any gas masks and this is a high priority task. Let's get up in this spot and see what if we can uh, improve things, living conditions for the beta hive. Or should I approach it from this angle actually? Um, that's going to have dupes swimming. Um, it's not a great way however I try to approach this. I think makes sense to go from from this uh, from the bottom now miner is currently on the other world and I don't have a dupe here that can dig that well and through certain things so I'm gonna give explorer the super duper hard digging so now they can dig through this so I won't be able to get up here I can't build on this where this uh, current thing is I don't want to get rid of the abyssalite so very limited of what I can do, but my plan is just to essentially create a vacuum right here and here, maybe here. Gotta be careful there because that's gonna let's drop me out. No, maybe uh, 
here and here. Alright, so the dupes did seal this area off from the beta hive, but uh, two bees did escape. There's still more in there. It's mostly the hive itself that I want to keep uh, keep available. Back on Sagista, I built a fridge here, so let's start storing stuff. Log gel. I can find uh, much. Oh, you know what? Just store everything. And I did discover, or I found, uh, heard the noise that scientists discovered something. Is it the oily asteroid? Let's find out. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, uh, yeah, there it is. I was looking over here, I was like, okay. Yes, there it is, there, there's a new asteroid. That's where I want to get to next. It's a short distance from here. I can kind of do a, a relay from here to here to get back. Awesome, good work, scientist. One thing I didn't want to do is remove the uranium ore, or have that trapped such that I can't get later. So I'm going to put tiles where that is, where they are, and then I'll create the vacuums behind the tiles. So now I'm at the point where I'm ready to create some, uh, create the connection, I guess, between here. It's going to need some drywall installed. High priority. I might take my time. So let's not dig everything out. Let's do the drywalling. Part, part of the dry line first before we dig out these two. I'll even tell scientists maybe they want to help out today. We'll look at the stars another day, buddy. Let's do this so that I'm not wasting too much oxygen. A little bit of stress in this area. So maybe some more carpeting is going to be needed after all. Some more drywalling. Make sure they know that that's to be done at high priority. And if you get that, you can build a ladder up here. Destroy that. But uh, I'll need more drywalling behind that before I do that. Which is what I might do, because I want hydrogen to leak up. I might come with extra space, so. More drywalling. We'll delete this door. Once that is out, again, more drywalling. And then I think we're done with the drywalling. Well, that's under utilities. Now my hydrogen is going to accumulate here. I'll make a hydrogen generator after it builds up for a little bit. But I think we're good for the time being. How is the ho oxygen looking? The electrolyzer? Much better ever since these things. I can actually delete or destroy these. Get my little bit of a metal back for that. Okay, inspect, make sure I didn't miss any spots. That's looking good. Over here, I'm ready now to create my vacuum by just digging the strain. And then that's going to have some sort of temperature protection between this 40 or so degrees and the cooler zone down here. It might even be useful because I want to make sure that this area doesn't get too, too warm. I'm gonna wait till the vacuum is created first. Explorer, go to it, excellent. All right, I need you to get out of the way. What I'm thinking of doing is just letting the cold brine accumulate up here. It's gonna kind of create a coolness because that brine is coming out at, I think minus, yeah, minus 10 degrees. So that'll add some cooling effect, bring the temperature back down. So I believe we have two bins full of material. Before we leave, let's create several more bins and have the dupes load those up. Now, if I'm gonna do that, might as well give them some strength. 
So carrying ability since they're going to be lugging back a lot of stuff in these bins. So get that. Uh, so essentially we'll get three more bins added up here. We'll have them full of supplies. And then we'll go back to the home world. That'll be uh, three bins will be more than enough. Just looking at the temperature map, and notice there's another one of these abyssalite bubbles that's really hot over here. Doesn't seem to be interacting with this tile. But I know one of the issues I have is uh, if this is liquid, it interacts with it really well temperature wise. I don't think that's supposed to be a thing, but that's what the game does. So it's just a point to be careful with when I get uh, over there. Three bins have been created, so let's put in all the same supplies here. The dupes will go back and forth and start loading some uh, more materials for me. Is there anything I want to get? Maybe I want to have access to the buddy buddy plant, but I really only need one per asteroid, really, so perhaps that's actually going to be fine. May have mined out, out enough material, but. Uh, Kind of want to take advantage of the fact that there's lots of oxygen thanks to the oxalate down here so maybe i'll do a little bit of digging and that's probably going to be enough material to go back to the home world and continue exploring the other parts of this universe just checking if i can actually get back home and uh yeah i'm short of tile so we're going to need a little bit more carbon dioxide Let's build in a pump for that and send that into the engine of the rocket. Be careful with skipping over the oxygen line that's currently there. Now, what I might do is just put a gas bridge here so the pump will send up carbon dioxide to this point but I don't want to kind of run while I'm not paying attention because there's not much there to take I don't need too much I don't want to put a lot of oxygen out here waste that in, into a uh, space I have the feeling like miner is gonna need this room over here to, for some relaxation maybe I'll catch them while they're eating too for a little bit more carpet I'll give them a little bit more relaxed time from all the stress they seem to be enduring. Let's have a look at Miner actually. See why they're being. Oh, popped eardrums. Is that inside the rocket? Oh, it is. Big time. That must be. Even though I had a very small amount of polluted water. Okay. That is. That's gotta go then. I did not realize that currently have algae for the rocket or will have more algae for the rocket so let's dump some polluted water let's see will that hit that will hit right here do that at high priority so they stop having popped eardrums when they go in the rocket scientists trying to help miner relax while they're running this machinery of course that's going to kick miner off the uh, building for the time being but the next time the dupe uses the massage table, they'll have a carpeting, giving them extra bonus here. Maybe I'll make it a priority to do under the two tables. And let's also make it a priority to empty the polluted water that's in that rocket, so we can avoid that overpressure in time. So the dupes have been exploring down this area in the home world. Decided I'm just going to add some insulation from all this coldness that's down here. Actually, if I do this, this is going to bring ice upward when I dig down one more. For that, just avoid having ice on top. Okay, made a big mistake here. Uh, can be easily fixed. I need... Uh, Bother mopping. Let's fix the initial problem first and disable this. Yeah, it fell all the way down except for the very beginning when I had a little ledge. So let's. Oh, and of course that's going to make. I can just make that a mesh tile then, since I've been there. Do that high priority. Then we'll mop. Now I 
can make this a high priority again, get rid of the polluted water that's in there, and finally do some mopping. Let's see what progress has been made with the cooling. I see some minus eight temperatures. This is gonna stop warming, getting it's up to 20 degrees, but won't get any more warmer now, uh, thanks to that insulation from the vacuum. Currently about to negative one degrees, so very much hoping that this cooling does, does its thing. What I might do, just to get, I might uh, dig out over here and have that uh, cool salt go down here and sort of interact with that just to kind of add it to uh, some natural cooling. Explorers cut out this zone so I can now destroy this. Instead of becoming this, this uh, becoming flooded, we can drop some brine down here. Just adding to the cooling area. Cook, you probably don't want to stay in that zone. Really not recommending it at all to any dupe. In fact, at this point, maybe even put that. Well, let's make a mask actually. Do I even have a station for that? I don't. I've been scared of this because of being so metal poor. But my dupes from the other world are going to be back with a lot of cobalt and gold out amalgams, so that should help. Let's just verify that Miner is getting their stress bonus. From the carpet tickle toesies. Yep, they are. Excellent. That'll help a little bit. But ultimately, what we want to do is remove the pressure here, which I don't know just to live with. I might just live with it for the time being. Right. If nothing. Well, this is. I shouldn't be getting new oxygen because of the overpressure anyway. Or I could pump it out create a pump in here, send it back into the home world. That, I think there may just be enough value in doing that. That's what I'm gonna do. Of course, I'm destroying a manual generator and if I create a pump, of course, I'll, I'll want to have the pump close to the exit. Let's put the manual generator up here. These bins are full anyways. It's gonna be a gas pump. It's gonna exit now the rocket. Oops, wrong asteroid. So it's gonna go from the rocket to the home world. It's just vent it right there. It's a pressure. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. What about the carbon dioxide? Is that... It's not been turned off. Oh, that's no power. Okay, hold on. I can fix that. This wire has been installed that has put the pump on. I'm just going to make sure that I don't get too much oxygen or polluted oxygen. Since I'm here, I can uh, tell the dupes that we find creating that. I need just enough to send me back home. Maybe I'll even disable the pump now. I wouldn't mind saving some carbon dioxide next to the refrigerator if I can. Let's go load it into the rocket. Let's see, I don't have, I need to go back to the rocket. I need to put in that manual generator. It's gonna provide a little bit of power. So we can get the pressure down in here. It has gone down a little bit. It will go down naturally as the dupes breathe, but uh, I wanna aim to make it a comfortable ride and time in. What, uh, uranium ore? No, we don't need to make that uranium ore dupes. Cobalt. Is what you should be using for this asteroid. Tubes in the home world working on some insulation. Just preventing the coldness from seeping up. Let's just wait for that to be uh, dug out. It's not really a big deal, but I think over time I'd rather keep this area have its coolness 
for uses later on and also to protect the uh, betas Let's see how these winds are doing minus 1.5 degree it is getting cooler over here so this is working out I think that's gonna do for this episode so I managed to uh, discover one of the issues I have even though I have a small amount of polluted water experiment with a full tank of liquid uh, polluted water that was five tons that was way too much I thought a smaller amount be okay because the dupes actually don't spend that much time here the polluted water over time is still getting too much so what I should have done is built this as soon as I land it and emptied this rocket out of uh, polluted water because I didn't do that now I'm in here having to build a pump with a manual generator to get that uh, pressure back down the other thing I managed to do is adding a little bit of insulation here but protecting the betas I don't want them to die because long term or further on they're very uh, effective at turning this uranium ore into uranium which I'm going to use for a power plant later on in the game so this was probably the worst one right here and adding just two tiles of vacuums made all the difference for protecting heat and just using the fact that there's a cool salt uh, geyser right next to it that's awesome um, that's gonna just provide some cooling which I've already seen uh, take effect general health check oxygen is looking good calories is okay over here temperature is getting warm gonna have to think about uh, that maybe even the next episode what was it looking like over here uh, well this was always warm but uh, yeah uh, that's one thing to take note of disease is fine let's go to the other worlds other asteroid Sigista. so I put an electrolyzer here and I actually connected this area so hydrogen is gonna start to accumulate looks like it has Oxygen is good for the time being. Stress is a bit high, but I think next episode I'll get this down. In fact, uh, the dupe should be ready now to use that and get uh, get that lower. Unfortunately, there's no battery in there, but uh, it's only a temporary use thing. Next episode, this rocket has to go back here, unload some supplies, and then I need to build a platform here and land on this world where I can start to discover some uh, oil what else do i have here for geysers i've got oil reservoir car hot carbon hot polluted oxygen chlorine cool steam natural gas oh another natural gas is that the third didn't this one also all three of these have a natural gas geyser that's kind of nice um no other geyser really has interested to me other than possibly the oily one but i'm not even sure that uh, i might just prefer the standard oil well but we'll cross that bridge when i get there Till then.